Hi, my name is Tim. In the last video, I gave an overview of remote files in LibreOffice, a feature introduced in version 5.1. It also showed how to connect to Google, Google Drive. In this video, I will show how to connect to an FTP. Unlike Google Drive, this can, can be done on any operating system that, that LibreOffice runs on. This includes Linux distros. Documents can be viewed on multiple computers at the same time, but they cannot edit a document in real time. If you make changes to a document, others can't see them until they close and reopen the, the document. This video will cover establishing a connection to an FTP, accessing an FTP server, and saving a document to an FTP server. To establish a connection to an FTP server, click the File menu. Then click Open Remote File. The Remote Files dialog will appear. Click the Add Service button. When the File Services dialog appears, Click the Type drop-down menu and select FTP from the list. Next you will fill in the bl below fields. Check with your service provi your FTP provider to get the information for, for them. Enter the host. Your provider may call this FTP server or some other name. For port, the default is 21. However, if your FTP's port is different, type that number in, in the box. Then enter user. Your provider may call this username. Enter the password. <clears throat> if you're going to use the service more than just once, it may be a good idea to put a check mark in the remember password checkbox. If you want LibreOffice to label this particular service differently, change the name that the change was in the label field. The root field can be left blank. However, it, you may be required to enter a forward slash or a folder name. When you are done, click the OK button. Then LibreOffice will require you to enter the master password. Go ahead and enter that. and press the OK button. This can be performed from the Start Center or several of the applications. Click the File menu, then click Open Remote File. If you just launched LibreOffice, it will prompt you to enter your master password. Go ahead and do so. And click the OK button.
if Libre off if the FTP service is not the default service, click the service drop down menu and select it from from the list. If you do not click your member password when setting up the connection, you will be prompted to enter the password for your FTP service. <clears throat> Once you have connected to the FTP service, you'll find that the folders on in your account will be left listed in, in the left pane and files and folders will be listed listed in the center pane simply click on the desired document or file or double click on it to open it First, either create a new document or open a document that is saved to your computer's hard drive. I will simply create a new document. Then click the file menu and choose save to remote server. This opens the remote files dialog. Select the FTP service from the service drop down menu if it is not already selected. Then give the document a name. can select one of the folders that you, if you you want want it saved to one of the folders rather than the root directory simply by double clicking on the folder if you want to go back it, it gives a hierarchy the hierarchy of the folders here so you've you've given, you've given the file a name, and then filter, filter drop down, uh, choose which file format you want. Then click the save button. If you selected a format other than open document, other than open document one. A dialog will appear asking you to confirm that choice or save the document as an open document. This video demonstrated how to, to connect to an FTP server through LibreOffice. Thank you for watching. Click on the subscribe to OS College channel box and check out, check out my other videos on YouTube.